D-S-L-R Film Noob. All right, so you picked up a Lilliput monitor and you are using it and loving it, but you don't have an audio option for monitoring the audio out of your camera. Well, here is the solution. This little headphone amplifier and this little Y cable are all you need to start monitoring the audio out of your T2i 7D, 5D Mark II, 60D, and now the new T3i. So check this out. Simply take the USB to composite cable that comes with your camera and plug it into your camera. Then use the red and the white lead and plug that into the splitter, which is then plugged into the FIIO E5. And lastly, plug your headphones into the headphone amplifier. All right, guys, you'll notice that I'm getting audio levels up here from my Magic Lantern T2i firmware update. I am also monitoring the audio via this little headphone amplifier and this Y cable connector right here that goes to the composite USB cable on the Canon T2i. The nice thing is, is that the monitor HDMI port on the camera works at the same time as the USB port on the camera. So if you flip this around right here, you'll notice that I have both the HDMI and the USB port plugged in, and I can listen to the audio that I'm recording right now as the camera is also outputting to the monitor. This is extremely handy, and it gives you the audio application that you probably wanted for your Lilliput monitor. It's also pretty affordable. That little headphone amplifier and the splitter cost me $22. And you're monitoring the audio output of the camera, not the microphone itself, like some of the applications, say the new Juice Link uh, D214 box. Another interesting application for this would be to add it to something like this, this little XLR to eighth inch adapter. You put this on and now you have controllable gain from what was otherwise a passive device. That way if the microphones coming in are a little bit quiet, you can use the gain here instead of the gain in the camera, which is a little bit more noisy. This also gets you kind of up to the level of almost a juice link device where you have gain in your XLR adapter. Another interesting application for this would be to use the headphone amplifier to increase the volume of your Rode video mic. This would be handy if you need more volume out of this into your camera so you're not using the camera's gain. Somebody's already actually adapted these two together for an interesting headphone monitoring. The headphone monitoring is directly from the Rode video and mic and not from the camera. Not sure why you'd want to do this. Maybe there's some application I'm missing here, but I'll have a link to his information on Vimeo in the crotch bar below. The manufacturer claims that this little guy has a battery life of about 22 hours. I don't know if this is actually the case or not. Many times those numbers are exaggerated. I will tell you that I have been using this all day and I haven't had a problem with it. It charges via USB and I actually ordered three of these at about $17 a piece. This little Y cable right here was about $2. So let's say on the high side, maybe $20 to $22 for this entire project. And you're not actually doing any real work. You're just connecting one device to another device. I'll have a full write up on this along with links to information on where you can pick up all these items over at dslrfilmnoob.com. So swing by and check it out. There'll be pictures and a little tutorial section on this whole endeavor. I've also got the link to that in the crotch bar below. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.